hello, hello, hello again, y'all. So, went by my mailbox, picked up a couple items that came in, and I'm sitting out here waiting to get my car service. Just, you know, quick uh, oil change and whatnot. Where am I? I'm at a Jiffy Lube. Yeah, Jiffy Lube. Jiffy Lube. So I said, oh, well, I gotta wait here an hour, so I might as well do a little something, something. Open my packages open this I got a new catalog from Louis Vuitton then I got picked up a couple of vintage pieces so um let's see I guess I should do this first huh let's see what this looks like this is what it comes in just nondescript and my address is on the other side so you ain't gonna see that but let me go ahead and open this bad boy up should have had it open before huh oh if you want to see my shoe of the day I got on some Burberry and then I'm on my Juneteenth t-shirt yes it is it's july july lord june 18th today juneteenth i don't know when this video is going up but juneteenth baby something that should be celebrated that we finally got out of that ugly business of slavery my ancestors allowed me to be what i am today all righty so let's see what louis vuitton gave to me uh, oh, let's see here. I thought it would be easier to open this thing. <laughs> okay, you're gonna act up on me, huh? Let's see here. Oh my god, this thing really doesn't want to come out. Okay, how? Oh. There we go. My goodness. Okay, so let's see what this was in the, what this one is about. The book. Alrighty, the book. Oh, it does have uh, information in it. Well, that's not. Guess I should have taken that out, but that's all right. Alrighty. Oh, Spirit of Travel, edition 14. Oh, what's in here? That's interesting. Let's see here. Yeah, y'all gonna hear some stuff in the background. Oh, look at that. That is cool. I don't know about it hanging from a chandelier, but the bag itself is cool. Well, it's probably a trunk, not a bag. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, this is nice too. Everything's nice. I love Louis Vuitton. I really do. I wish their women's clothes were a little more roomy. Anyhow, I guess I can. I guess I should have done this with the LV unboxing, but I don't have any of those coming up <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, I wanted the LV uh, Alma BB and Damier Zor, but I'm not a big enough client because I sure didn't get offered one. <laughs> but anyhow, I'll have to take a look at this in more detail later. Cool beans. Who's that? Well, that's nobody famous. Okay. You know, sometimes they have famous folks in here, but not. Ooh, these are bags are nice too. Okay, so I'll take a look at this more later. Next, the actual unboxing. Let's see here. Let's see. So I do know one's a pair of earrings and one is a pair. One is um, a necklace. Both are vintage and both are Chanel. I'm excited about both. I'm particularly excited about the earrings though because they're supposed to match a pair, a match a, a, a necklace I already own, a Chanel necklace I already own. So let's see which this is. So you know, it's the usual accoutrement. <laughs> the fashion file, you get the fun stuff and the file, some fun confetti, the file, the thank you and the receipt and stuff. Take this on out. Yay. Close this back on up. This is fashion file. Thank you very much. And let's see. Put this on top. Let's see if this will just ease on out. Oh yeah, it looks like it. You wanna come out? There we go. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. 
to set that up here. <laughs> well, think this through now, girl. Think this through. Let me do this the other way. So it's a flatter surface. This one here. Still not a good idea. So what we gonna do is just scoot that on over and put it on the doggone seat. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Which one is it? I think it's the necklace. What I'm feeling. Let's see here. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Go. Open this up. These one handed unboxings. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and dump it out. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see what they look like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it. Let me do a little close up. Make sure there's no trickification. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I found them. And I can't believe I found them at such a great price. Look at this. Oh. Absolutely. Ooh, don't look at these ashy fingers. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Hmm. Um, I don't know. This is very, very light. And I'm by no means an expert at all. But usually the older items bit more heft to them. Like I said, I have a coordinating necklace that, huh. Mm. I don't know about this, y'all. I don't know about this. I mean, I am not one to say something is or isn't real. I go by the authenticators when I'm hesitant. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, the little thing that's supposed to be on it isn't on there anymore. Wait a minute. It's not on there. Uh, did this fall off in transit? Gosh darn it. Let me look at this with my own eyes. I don't know, y'all. Looks awfully. I don't know. I'm gonna get a. Sorry about all the noise. Well, y'all know where I am. I'm at a Jiffy Lube getting this quick oil change done, but in transmission fluid. But I don't know. I'm not feeling this. I'm not sure. I'm gonna get a second opinion. I'm gonna get a second opinion, because this could just be, yeah, this could just be, I'm just not familiar with this year, but the older pieces, this is supposed to be a piece from the 90s, and there's usually more heft to them than this. Now well, there's nothing in here, so the plate, you know, the, um, the date code, the plate didn't fall off. Oh, now this is disappointing. Oh, this is really disappointing. Okay. God, I was so excited at first, too. But, you know, there's just something once you've handled a lot of... Sorry, y'all. Once you've handled a lot of vintage pieces... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure about this one. And if it is vintage, maybe it's been redone, but there's just the, it's not neat. That makes sense. Like the the painting, I understand if some had chipped away or worn off, that's age, but it's like the original paint is not neat. Do you, let me show you. Do you see that right there? It's along the edge. Like my other Chanel pieces don't look like that. Do you see that? Right there. Like the painting isn't done neatly. And these 
these are super now, it being shiny is fine but the plate is off you see there that's where the date code plate should have been there's a residue there but there's also I don't know I just I'm not sure and if I'm not sure I definitely am gonna get a second opinion I mean they are gorgeous and I've seen them online so I know this pair exists well hell let me not say that maybe what I saw online were these things <laughs> oh this sucks oh well well that's one of the reasons why I enjoy using fashion file because you know none of us are perfect so if something slips through their QA process I can just turn it right back you don't have to worry about it um, as long as you keep that on this little security thing on it goes right back to them you know if I'm wrong I'm wrong but I'm gonna get a second opinion second opinion okay so that we don't know if it's a failure or not but I don't know that's not looking too good to me mm -mm. like some of my more recent Chanel earrings yes they're very light but the gold ones from the 90s no they're like uh-uh let me look at the sorry this is gonna be more than an unboxing now this is not gonna be a bit of a investigation let me look at the this is, comes with it it's a description of what you've purchased well actually it should be on the outside of this too or no was it in here where did i have it i know i saw it somewhere oh yeah where's the fashion file little card that says it's legitimate Oh, it's stuck to the inside. Oh, not stuck, but it's right here. I just pulled it apart. I mean, I just, let's see here. This is its authenticity card. Come on now. Come on now. Enable CC drop earrings. Okay. Doesn't say the year on here. Let me see if it says it on this other paperwork I have. I'm gonna just shift away from my, my personal information on it. I look at it with my eyes. No, it doesn't say. Um, oh, okay, this doesn't have my name on it. So it just says here, drop CC. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to ask about this one. So, this one, we don't know if it's an issue yet or not. It could just be. But I don't know. And that's fine. I am by no means in a level, yeah, I'm not an authenticator. I could just go by my own experience. And my experience says usually my gold and enamel pieces from the 90s, which I thought this was from the 90s, it's much heavier than that. There's a heft to that, and there's also um, just a level of quality I don't quite see in this. But it could be a repaired piece. And I don't believe that was disclosed, but either way, it may not be a matter of authenticity. It may just be a matter of it's been repaired and the repair just wasn't as clean as the original. Anyways, on to item two. This, of course, I know is a necklace. This is a vintage piece. Let's see here. Oh, you're not gonna wanna open up for me either, huh? Yeah, there's noise for days, but that's all right. Oh gosh, it looks beautiful. Let me not get excited like I did on the other one. Let me hold it first. Oh, 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 you know, Chanel isn't all over it. <laughs> oh, it's all twisted up. You can definitely tell this is vintage by the gold, by the patina, by everything on it. Oh, and look, it says Chanel there. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, it's a little tangled up. 
So I'm gonna have to do that once I'm done filming. But, oh my gosh, and it's a long necklace. This is a beauty. Let me inspect the pearls. That's usually what's worn on vintage pieces, the pearls. There's nicks on them or something. And the only thing that's looking worn in this video are these nails, my hands. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh, look at my nails, look at the jewelry. Oh, these pearls look pristine. There's some nick, like dents in them. I don't care about that. I just don't want it to be peeling. Oh, and it's a long one. It's a long one. It's supposed to be, I think, 52 inches. I'll have to try it on. Um, but I'm very happy with this. Now this one, even though it's, it, it, there's a heft to it. There's a weight to it that it makes sense. Like putting it all in my hand, like there's a weight to it. It just feels different than the earrings. The weight I expected with earrings of that size. So again, I can absolutely be wrong. Probably am wrong. I mean, hell, Fashion File is a huge company and they train people to be able to evaluate items for authenticity but they're also not fallible so they're not unfallible yeah so i will i will double check both actually just to be safe i will double check both to make sure yes i will double check both I believe this is from, I want to say this is from either the early 90s or the late 80s. Where's a little car for it? It's inside here. Let's see here. Chanel Crystal Pearl Long Necklace. Okay, it doesn't say nothing. But <laughs> I'll put a little narrative in the, um, uh, in the, and the uh, information section of this video to let you know uh, what the years were for each one of these and um, eventually what I find out from my second opinion. I'm gonna go get this authenticated and that's that. Alrighty y'all, here's the last picture of my beauty. Oh, I'm gonna put something on Instagram. I'll take a picture of it wearing it and put it on Instagram so we can see. Alright y'all, until next time, please let these be authentic. Oh my gosh. Okay, until next time. <laughs> Bye.